Hello everyone, myself Vantari from Jorhat Medical College. Uh, today we are going to start with page number 123, continuing with the cell cycle metaphase. Here a diagram is shown and from this diagram many questions have been asked previously about uh, the arrangement in the late prophase, early prophase and uh, the metaphase test has been asked many times as well as the anaphase test which you will get in the next page, the diagram. Now, uh, coming to the uh, first paragraph, cells at the end of prophase when viewed under microscope do not show Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleolus, mm -hmm. and nuclear envelope. Mm -hmm. This is a very important uh, statement. You should remember that at the end of the uh, prophase, these structures are not, are not uh, visible through microscope. So uh, mm -hmm. they might get, they might uh, tell you uh, about other options also, but you have to choose this uh, within these options that these are not seen under microscope as it is mentioned in your NCRT. Now coming to the uh, metaphase, the complete disintegration of the nuclear enve envelope marks the start of second phase of mitosis. Uh, this statement is very very important uh, which is the start of metaphase is very important statement so you have to remember this that uh, what is the exact point of starting. Uh, as I have already told you that uh, these uh, stages are not that must distinct and for our convenience or for the study purpose this are uh, these uh, stages have been divided uh, so uh, the starting point you should remember and the ending point you should remember as it has been mentioned as stages so in metaphase complete disintegration of nuclear envelope marks the start of the second phase of mitosis that is chromosome and spread through the cytoplasm of the cell now uh, the key features of these stages are stages are condensation of chromosomes is completed and they can be uh, they can be observed uh, clearly under the microscope this is then stage at which morphology of chromosome is most easily studied you have to remember this statement as it has been asked many times in your need examination that we at um, <coughs> at which stage the morphology of chromosomes is most easily studied you have to remember that a morphology uh, they might ask you about other things but uh, in case when uh, when it comes to morphology metaphase is the most uh, relevant stage at this stage metaphase chromosomes is made up of two sister chromatids uh, and which are held together by centromeres a small disc shaped structure at the surface of the centromeres is called kinato cores this uh, kinato core has been asked previously many times you have to remember this that these are the small disc shape structure at the surface of centromeres at the surface of centromeres you have to remember this term kinetochores are uh, located at the uh, surface of the uh, centromeres uh, they might uh, confuse you inside the centromere or above the centromere but uh, you should remember surface of the centromeres and these are dislike structures this structure serves as a site of attachment of spindle fibers you have to remember this as well from by the spindle fibers to the chromosomes that are moved into position at the center of the cell. Hence the metaphase is characterized by all the chromosomes coming to lie at the equator with one chromatid of each chromosome connected by its kinetochore to spindle fiber from one pole of the sister chromatid connected by the kinetochore and spindle fibers to the opposite pole. Uh, likewise it has been shown in this structure. And you have to remember this because uh, the metaphase plate. Uh, the characteristics of metaphase plate has been asked in your board examination so you have to remember and the key features of metaphase is mentioned here spindle fibers attached to the kinetochores of chromosomes chromosomes are moved to the spindle equator and get aligned along the metaphase plate through spindle fibers to the both poles thank you